In a few weeks I will get time to realize it's right before my eyes and I can take it if it's what I want to do. Hello world, I'm Ben Ben, and nice to meet you guys. Some questions I'm wondering, can you? Hey what's up everyone, this is Eli from ChCheckIt.com here with the Cinema 4D tutorial on everyone's first favorite day of the week, Tutorial Tuesday. And today is yet another kind of set up video in Cinema 4D. Uh, this time it's how to make an infinite background. And the reason why I keep teaching you guys these setups is because in the future when I'm doing Cinema 4D slash Photoshop tutorials, you know, combining them and stuff, I don't want to have to spend a ton of time on how I got the background done or you know set up the lighting and stuff like that so that's why uh, I'm doing these first just to get it all out of the way and then I can redirect people to this video so if you're watching in the future uh, hello this is kind of awkward but uh, <laughs> uh, thanks for coming back and watching this video but anyway this is what we're learning today I'm excited to teach you guys this and yeah give the video a like also leave a comment because I put all my favorite comments at the end of the video and I'll be including this uh, infinite background template here so uh, yeah go to checkit.com and download it and with that now we can start the tutorial so file new and you'll get this blank uh, ugly box area and stuff like that uh, shortcuts alt spins stuff around one moves the camera two zooms in and out and also uh, two with the right click changes the aspect ratio um, three moves it around it's just like alt so yeah quick button layout kind of a thing that's what I'm going to be using a uh, scroll wheel zooms in and out now we can get to the tutorial alright so first thing we're gonna want to do is create a floor alright and uh, if you render this real quick you'll see that it's weird we have gray and black so let's first create a nice texture for this so there double click here now uh, let's just go into the color let's make a texture but we're gonna use a gradient alright so click on the gradient let's uh, right click here invert the knots I, I did this all in the last video that's why I'm kinda going fast right here but this time let's choose a different color I, I, don't, I don't like just plain white background so I'm gonna go over a little bit make it slightly like a brownish kind of a tannish color okay and then the darker area let's uh, go back to the tan and just choose like a darker grayish brown okay cool now let's change it from 2u or 2du to 2d circular and now we can exit out of that click and drag it onto the floor and you'll notice that it's weird it's got like a bunch of different squares so we need to fix that so how do we fix that well I'm gonna tell you click on the material and then go to tag and then you'll see on projection it's on flat we want to change that from flat to frontal alright and with that now if you click the render button now we have this nice big area but the top is still black so how do we fix that well I'm gonna tell you go up to where we got the floor and go down to the background and now click on the texture hold control click and drag it onto the background all right now click it and you'll see that we still have a problem here it's not you know go coming together but it is looking much better so how do we fix that once again we right click on floor go to cinema 4d tags go down to compositing click on it and you'll notice all this mumbo jumbo ignore everything except for this right here the compositing background do the little check for it then we're gonna do the same thing we did before select the composite tag right here click control click and hold it drag it up and put it on the background as well and now when you click render you have a nice flat background isn't that awesome alright so uh, now let's uh, kind of get a grasp on what we're doing here and let's uh, go to the render settings that's just by clicking this button right here and let's start by the output alright let's click the presets here film and video let's just go down to HDTV uh, 29.97 that's full 1080p yes uh, if you don't have a very com good computer just go down to like uh, 720p because trust me this is gonna take a while to render and a lot of people are asking last time if you can't right click right here just go down to effect it's the same thing as right clicking uh, you can go down to effect and turn on these as well so ambient occlusion 
affect global illumination. I'm going to leave them the way they are right now and I might even just turn off ambient occlusion until I'm ready to render it because uh, I don't want to be you know waiting forever so there we go now uh, what, what we can do is we can create something let's just create a nice uh, sphere let's just do a sphere quick let's drag it up I'm gonna create three spheres so I'm just gonna copy by command or control C and then command or control V to paste I'm gonna do that twice I'm just gonna move these you know, scale it down a little bit too. And uh, how we can do that is over here, if we select the sphere, we can just, you know, turn down the radius. All right. Let's put this one over to the left right here. Cool. It's gonna, you know, come over here. All right. Uh, sphere two. Let's just move it over here. All right. Size it down a lot. Let's just make it like. Oh, that's, that's way too small. There's also this little thing right here, and you can use that to scale it up and down, too. Uh, let's just make a really small ball. Because the ladies love them small. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> my jokes are so stupid, and my girlfriend's going to get mad at me for that joke. <laughs> oh, I was kidding around. Don't be mad at me. I love you. All right. Alt. Click. I, I always have the stupidest jokes during tutorials. So I'm just kind of arranging these. You guys can do what you want. I mean, I'm not the boss of you. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Goodness gracious. Raise it up a little bit. I don't want it completely on the floor. All right, cool. Now we have three balls here. Insert joke there, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> so let's uh, create some nice materials for these quick. I'm just going to double click down here. Double click on the material. And let's change the color right here. Let's start with a... Uh, what color should we do? Kind of like a bright blue. Okay, let's do some reflection on it. Go down to texture. Go down to Fresnel. Click on here. Or actually, you don't have to even do that. Oh, click on reflection. What we want to do is turn down the mix mode and the brightness. Just so we don't get such a crazy amount of uh, reflection. Alright, cool. And now what we can do is we can select the material, go Command or Control C, Command or Control V. Let's paste it twice. And let's start with this one. And then we're just going to change the color of it. So I'm going to go into it and just select colors that you want. I want kind of a bright green for one of them. And then for this one, let's do kind of a bright purpley color. Kind of worn out. Okay, cool. And now we can click and drag them on uh, whatever balls we want. <laughs> there we go. All right, so now if you uh, click render, it's all black because we don't have any lights in the area. So you can always just create a light right here and uh, drag it up and, you know, click render. And uh, this will look okay. But something that I've been wanting to tell you guys to go get I'm going to delete that light. Is something called Grayscale Gorilla. Their light kit. It doesn't matter which one you get. They're all amazing. So go to the content browser if you have it. And uh, I have mine saved to my favorites. So I don't have to, you know, go find it every time. But it's just so much faster. Just watch how great the lighting gets. I'm going to click and drag this overhead softbox over here. And I'm also going to drag two softboxes over here. And then I'm going to zoom out using the scroll wheel. And I'm going to use uh, the alt key to turn, the one key to go over. All right, so now let's go back to the objects panel right here. And let's just mess with these. So I actually want to drop down this overhead softbox. Drop it down. Cool. I also want to make it so uh, the overhead box, like none of these are showing up in the camera because that gets very annoying. So what we have to do is go into the, the settings and where it says visibility options. Turn off scene by camera. You have to do that for each of these. Softbox. Go over to softbox controls. Go down. Scene by camera. Boom. Softbox once again. Scene by camera. Awesome. <laughs> now when we render this, it won't be in the way. But that's going to take forever to render. So I'm not going to turn that on. Let's mess with these. Select the softbox. I'm going to move one over. And this one, I'm going to move the other way. There we go. 
All right, so now our like that took like no time at all, and our lighting looks amazing. So I'm actually going to hit two, and I'm gonna change the aspect ratio because I like when it's zoomed out. And I'm just gonna position the camera a little better here. I mean, I'm not the boss. You do what you want. Cool. Now if we hit render. We can uh, let it render. I'll, I'll bring you guys back in a second. Alright, you guys are back now. And I noticed that this ball isn't all the way down. So, I'm going to select it. Bring it down. There we go. Cool. I want this one. I want them all kind of hitting the floor. Just not going too far into it. And I also noticed that my soft boxes are acting kind of strange. So, I'm going to zoom out. Do that. I'm actually going to select the soft box. I'm gonna rise it up. Cool. I didn't like how they were, uh, you know, acting. So rise it up. Oh my goodness. Just there we go. Cool. And I might zoom out. Just use the aspect ratio. I'll bring it back in. Just a little bit. Cool. Now I'm going to hit the render button again. I'll bring you guys back in a second. Alright, so this is looking a million times better. But what we want to do now is we definitely want to turn back on all those great render settings. So we can get a nice soft shadow here. And just make it look a million times better. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up to render settings. I'm going to start with anti-aliasing, make sure it's on best, and we're going to turn up the min level to 2x2, two two. then we're going to go to ambient occlusion, turn it on, and then for global illumination, go to general, we want to turn on the other iridians cache, turn up the diffuse depth to 3, and the gamma up to 1.5. Then the last thing we want to change is the samples from medium to high. And with these render settings, this is going to look a million times better. So I'm just going to hit render and I'll bring you guys back when it's done because it takes forever. All right. And with that, now the tutorial is done. So I hope you guys learned something. And I hope that with this information that I won't have to keep going back. And now we can get into actually creating some very interesting things in Cinema 4D. So don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment because all the comments go in the end of the video. So... Yeah, stay tuned to see if your comment from the last video made it on. And I will see you guys on Friday for an awesome tutorial. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hello world, I'm in and nice to meet you Got some questions I'm wondering, can you answer like How much longer I do this, how much longer I do this Till they realize they stupid for overlooking this cool kid They put me on at parties, jamming my song Just play a little bit and I, I promise you won't go wrong My music, they steady humming, my lyrics sit to their stomach I'm still considered a youngin' but 14 hit songs and running My favorite rapper from c Dot won't freestyle If you beatbox, my flow cold and it's be hot, you watch me, but I G-Shot Tweet me, I'm V-Man from MB to g Pan. My old friends say, G-Man, I heard you, you're decent Say, fuck that, man, I'm great I don't even care if you hate I know deep down that you jealous of this awesome music I make Got that jump man on my sneakers Kicking through your speakers Say, I ain't the best man You must be high on that reefer, ha!